The Human Brain Project is really an attempt to build completely new computer science technology that will help us to collect all the pieces of information about the brain that we've collected over, generated over the last decades or century and integrate it into a unified view of the brain. We use a model for that because it's the best way to integrate and unify all the information and knowledge. There's a lot of preparation that we have to do to build the software, to organize the biological data, to develop algorithms as to how we're going to bring the data together. But even if we had all of that and we didn't have the computers, we wouldn't be able to run a full-scale simulation. But we know that the computing is going to be have the power to do the simulations we are targeting by the end of this decade, but it will take us that time to get ready so that when they become available, we can start running those kinds of simulations. It's not like the Human Genome Project where you can sequence three billion base pairs. We can actually show you can't map the brain. You can't experimentally map the brain. It's got too many dimensions to map, and you won't experimentally be able to map out every synapse, every protein, every gene, every cell, every circuit. This will take centuries to do, we think, with current technology and even with future technology. So what we're saying is you need to take the data that we have today, the knowledge we have of how the brain is designed, put them into algorithms and make a, make a prediction. Well, a unified understanding of the brain is going to give us a much more scientific basis for understanding brain diseases. Where are the weak points in the brain? Where are the vulnerable, vulnerable points where things can go wrong much more easily? Well, we're trying to cluster the diseases to build a map of all brain diseases, to see how diseases relate to each other and compare to where they're similar, where they're dissimilar, so that we can actually use almost any data and knowledge about one disease to sort of go through the map and help us understand other diseases. The brain has many secrets. It doesn't need to be programmed. It learns. It is robust. You can damage big parts of the brain and it can still function. These are all very different from current technology. So the Human Brain Project, the other third big part of the Human Brain Project, is to leverage from these secrets, technological secrets if you wish, to build new kinds of computers. We call them neuromorphic computers.